division. That's what we're talking about here today. And ironically, that's Paul's final comments here as he's wrapping up Romans 16. We got today and tomorrow. Tomorrow's just just quick wrapping it up. Today's kind of the, the last large portion here. And I'm going to be reading today from Romans chapter 16. And uh, we're going to pick it up in verse 17. It starts with this. It says, and now I make one more appeal. Man, what's so important? What does Paul save to last? Well, we're going to talk about that here today on The Daily Race. This is what it is. He says this, and now I make one more appeal, my dear brothers and sisters. Watch out for people who cause divisions and upset people's faith by teaching things contrary to what you've been taught. Stay away from them. Such people are not serving Christ our Lord. They are serving their own personal interests. By smooth talk and glowing words, they deceive innocent people. But everyone knows that you are obedient to the Lord. This makes me very happy, and I want to be wise in doing right and staying innocent of any wrong. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. Wow, the last thing that Paul talks about is, is division. Watch out for people who cause division. And particularly, he's talking about uh, theological division. They're coming in teaching things that are contrary. But I think it's interesting here that, that Paul, in his, his final summary here, final words here, really echoes some of Jesus' final words. Jesus' final words with his disciples at the Last Supper were about unity, that they would be one as he and the Father is one, are one, that they would be one in him so that the world will know that Jesus, that God sent him. Unity is so important. Division, division is a scandal. A division that breaks apart churches, that causes divides among, believer, among believers, breaks apart the, the very thing that Jesus gave up his, his life for. So Paul in his, this final, one final appear, he's like, don't get divided. Don't let people come in and, and, and cause division among you. Be uh, cast them out. Like, do not let it happen. Fight against this. What a word of warning here. And, and you know, we, we think about there's so many things that have the potential to cause division. Because here's the beauty. The church is diverse. We have people from all different types of backgrounds, all different types of upbringings, all different types of cultures. Uh, I mean, the church is, is a global, global body of Christ. There are so many opportunities for division. But that's why we have to keep Jesus at the center. Keep Jesus lifted up. Keep our eyes focused on him. If we do that, if we keep him the main thing, that's where unity lies. It doesn't lie in our shared experiences because we all have different experiences. It doesn't it certainly doesn't lie in our opinions because we all got different opinions. It lies in Jesus. It lies in God's grace and mercy for us. And when we keep our eyes on him, it allows us to stay unified. And if you keep our eyes on him, then it becomes apparently obvious. It just sticks out like a sore thumb, people that are trying to cause division. People try, that are trying to make it about something other than Jesus. It's very simple to call out. It's very simple to identify and confront it. Don't let it slide. Don't let it fester. We deal with it. We have the conversation in love. Like this is you don't have to start off with guns and blazing when, when someone's uh, dealing with, uh, with division. We approach them in love. Maybe they, they didn't see what they were doing. But we fight for unity. We don't want division to come into our church. All right, let's wrap it up there today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be bringing this home. It's Paul's final, final statements as we wrap up our, our study here in Romans. Hey, it's Friday, which means it, it's Financial Friday. Uh, we're praying for the finances of the church, for God's provision. Uh, for all the ways that people contribute through their resources of time, talents, treasures, uh, that we have, God has given the church an incredible mission. And we want to make sure that we are putting our resources and things that are going to last forever. And God's body, the bride, is one of those things. All right, let's pray. Lord, we love you and we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for the opportunity we have to serve you, to, to love you, to begin our day with you. And God, we just pray just for just this area of, of unity. God, we want to be unified. God, I want to be unified in my, my family, with my wife, with my kids. God, I want to be united in my church family, that, that we love one another, that we deal with conflict in ways that honoring you, that are honoring you. God, I want to be united in our country. God, I want to be united in the church around the world. So God, help us to, to follow you in that area. God, I pray for 
uh, just the finance of the church. God, I pray for, I thank you for just uh, the way that people give and sacrifice and put resources in your hands that, that go and last forever, God. We, we thank you for that, and we pray that you will continue to provide. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, well, hey, I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. Look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now right back here on The Daily Race. Love you guys.